set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick pass. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. Makes it out to about the 46. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. <laughs> Tackle made at the 19. <laughs> the Cowboys and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Gets it. He's in space. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. So far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's at midfield. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Makes it out to about the 23. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. There's a very impressive open field tackle. A 
the middle for a nice game. Tackled around the 17-yard line. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 17. He gets out to about the eight. six-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's taken down at the four-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! Tacks on the extra point. So a 10 play, 58 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So the score now, 7 0. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. That's a game of 14 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Game two, X. They bring him down. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Has it to the senior. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. Seven-yard line. The senior makes the catch, and he's tackled around the 28-yard line. There's a minute stopped in his tracks with that tackle. He scrambled. Slides down. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7 0, Longhorn. We're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Zero, zero, 
He's taken down at the 11-yard line. Brought down at about the three-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. execution here by the offense. The quarterback seems to be getting into a little bit of a rhythm now. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 69 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive with this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. We're even at seven in this one. Heading for the corner at the 30 and he's taken down at the 35 this is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime Field. At the 30, and he's brought down at the 26-yard line. Makes it out to about the 16. Great position to score. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Touchdown, Longhorns. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Texas lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he can't get away from the pressure. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the sack makes this a second and long. Mike three, Mike three. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Quick throw. Tackle made at about the 21. Number 21 makes the tackle at the 21 yard line. That brings us to the 14. Mike three. Thank you. Very good tackle in space.
He's to the 40. Got the corner. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas up seven points. He makes his way to about the 42. yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. and he's got his man and they push him out around the 42 yard line again he'll get the call great job here in shutting down the run that's a real boost for this team He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. It's broken up. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. tackles him hard at the 23 yard line good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession that's the right way to catch a pass and he hits him hard at the 31 yard line you have to keep an eye on this guy especially during passing situations because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback as we saw right there Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. From the 29-yard line, third down. Five wide. This one's going deep to the end zone. He caught it for the touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Oklahoma State gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
you always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he's immediately tackled. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 43. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. concentration to pull it in. That's a great tackle at the 12-yard line. He's scrambling. And he is drilled at the four. Scrambling, and they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Throws complete. He's got room to work, and down he goes around the two-yard line. We played a half. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back for their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. On the delay. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a game later on. That'll bring up third and two. Mike three! Mike three! Come on, D! Hey, kill me! Oh, and almost picked off. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. 
A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his wideout. He's knocked out of bounds around the 43-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. tries to buy some time and they make the stop the 42 yard line and he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured he needs to be a lot more careful out there throws a strike over the middle and he's tackled right away they'll spread the field with five wide Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Tackle at the 17. Here's the eighth play of the series. Slings it. And he's tackled at the nine-yard line. He makes it to the six-yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Scrambled. He's taken down at the five. Brought down right around the four yard line. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. And he throws it away. It's third and five. Ball on their own 30. Three down, three down. Mike three, Mike three. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Mike three, get down. Got a man in and out of his hands. 
like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. He rifles it. Chucks it downfield. Got him again. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. Oklahoma State to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching with the others. Up. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets out to around the 35. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers quick out to his receiver touchdown Texas Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. 
Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A nice seven play, 76-yard drive. And they put up seven points. So the score now, 24-21. Points galore through three. An action-packed fourth quarter is on deck. Texas leads 24-21. Texas is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Fires it out. And he's level at the 31. That's a gain of six on the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's hit immediately. He's tackled at the 32. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught out in the open. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. Texas is up a field goal. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He fights forward to about the 39. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Five wide. it out maybe to the 26 yard line third down and they need to get it to the 19 This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. They're going to try a long field goal here. is up it's got the distance and he nails the long field goal looks like they're ready for the kick 
And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Brad, we're starting to get late into this football game, now into the fourth quarter, and this offense could behoove themselves to put points up on the board, preferably a touchdown. Nice run up the middle. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick throw, and down he goes at about the 47-yard line. Number 17 brings his down with the 47-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. Quick strike to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 42. From the 42-yard line. First down. At about the 39 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Come on, I'm on. Mike three. Mike three. Red two. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he is drilled at the 18-yard line. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. Fires incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. It's second and ten. Ball on the 18. We have less than a minute to go. Throws incomplete. Brad, I thought the quarterback put the ball there where it could have been caught. The receiver's got to do a better job of fighting for the football. When that ball is up in the air and it's between a defender and a receiver, I think the receiver's got to show more effort and a willingness to fight for the football. The safety just knocked that ball away from him. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. on the field he'll try to put his team up by a point they call it a catch but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this man as i see this play again it really looks like he made the correct call on the field after review of the play the ruling on the field stands well i think the play warranted a review but the call on the field stands And he adds the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Caught. Open field. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. four-yard line second down they come out on an empty backfield under pressure Kick is away, and he got it. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He's under some heat. Going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. This one's in the books. The Longhorns with the win. 30-28. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.